in this experiment we will determine the planck's constant using four leds the leds we have used here is red yellow green and blue we know each color of led has its own threshold voltage so we will find out the approximate threshold voltage when led glow it emits energy the energy is given by the formula e is equal to h nu where h is the planck's constant and nu is the frequency and h is equal to e divided by nu and we know e equal to the charge of the electron into the potential here the potential is called the threshold voltage so h will be equal to ev divided by c into lambda where nu is equal to c divided by lambda so here e that is the charge of the electron we know the value of the charge of the electron and the value of the velocity of light so to find out the value of the planck's constant we have to know the threshold voltage because the lambda value that is the wavelength of various colors of led these are known values these are the wavelength in nanometer of different colors we can put the value of the, the value of lambda in the equation h equal to ev lambda divided by c so how we will determine the threshold voltage let us see this is your trainer kit how to find out the planck's constant by four leds as you see red yellow green and blue uh, here you have a voltmeter and you have an ammeter and the circuit shown to you it is just a forward bias diode it is a forward bias diode circuit the difference between ordinary diode and led that is the light emitting diode is that in light emitting diode you will get light when current pass through the led or light emitting diode uh, you will get light as you see in this uh, board the ammeter is connected in series and the voltmeter is connected in parallel in the circuit here we have connected a milliammeter and uh, when you increase the voltage input voltage the current is zero you see i am in i am increasing the input voltage but the current is zero but at a particular voltage you will see that the current starts increasing when the current is about 0.1 milliampere you record the voltage that is called the threshold voltage or when the current starts increasing from zero to some value you will have a voltage that is called the threshold voltage for that particular led and first we have connected the red led so you just see what will be the uh, threshold voltage you see now the current is 0.01 uh, milliampere and the threshold voltage is about 1.57 and you see this is a red led in the when you increase the voltage the led will glow you can see how the led is glowing when you increase further increase the voltage the brightness of the led will increase you can see clearly how the brightness of led is increasing and uh, the current is also increasing from this value of voltage and current we can find out the value of the uh, threshold voltage from the graph now we will find out the threshold voltage for the yellow led i am increasing the voltage and the current is just 0.1 uh, 1 milliampere let us see what will be the corresponding threshold voltage then when you increase the voltage the current gradually increases and the led will glow more 
you see how the LED glow more, then we will find out the threshold voltage for the green LED. You see, I am increasing the voltage from 0 to onwards. When you increase the voltage, the current you see it is 0. It is not increasing, but at a particular voltage, the current starts increasing from 0 to some value. That particular value of voltage is called your threshold voltage. You just see that is the 2.16 at 2.16 volt, the current is 0. 0 0.01 milliampere. That is the threshold voltage for the green LED. When you increase the voltage, you see the brightness will increase. Okay. You can see it. And you draw the VI characteristics or IV characteristics from this data. That is V voltage and current data. Now, I will calculate the threshold voltage for the blue LED. This is the blue LED. You increase the voltage and you will see the corresponding increase in current and what will be the, you, you see just at 0 0.01 milliampere, 2.43, okay, 2.43 voltage is the uh, uh, threshold voltage for the blue LED. So, this is the voltage versus current. When we, you increase the voltage, the corresponding current you will get in different LED. For red LED, this is the reading voltage versus voltage in volt and current in milliampere. This is the reading for the red LED and this is the reading for the yellow LED. You see, this is the reading for the yellow LED and this is the voltage and current reading for green and blue LED. You see in the data, we have taken that is the voltage versus current data. And from the various data, if you plot the graph between voltage and current, then this will be the nature of the forward bias um, voltage and current for different LED. This graph is for blue LED, this is for green LED, and this is for red LED, and this is for the yellow LED. So, from this graph, you can find out the value of the corresponding threshold voltage. If you draw the straight line graph in this direction, then it will meet at a point on the x-axis and the point where the straight line meets, that is called the threshold voltage for that LED. So after finding the threshold voltage either from the experiment or from the graph, if you put the value of the value, the threshold voltage, the charge of the electron and the wavelength and the velocity of light, then you will get the value of the Planck's constant. And here we have found out the value of the Planck's constant is 5.96 into 10 to the minus 34 joule second. But actually the value of the Planck's constant H is equal to 6.62 into 10 to the minus 34 joule second. So there is some error in this experiment. So, you have to calculate the error in this experiment. Thanks for watching.